App Store, search up Artset 4 and download it. You go to the app. These are all the colors the app already provided you. The app provides different colors and shades of blue, red, green, pink, and more. There are many art supplies provided in the app, from oil pastels to patterns and pens and paints. These art supplies are also in categories like graphic, light, airbrush, texture, and more. The, this is the color selection for watercolor. There are many different colors for watercolor like pastels, darks, lights. There's also different shades of red, green, yellow, and so many other colors. There are also some glittery colors. This is what the watercolor looks like. There is also a large variety of colors, like pink, blue, brown, etc. The color palette for the oil paints is the same for all the other art supplies, but it has a very different texture to it. For example, the watercolor had a thin texture, while the oil paint has a very thick texture to it, which makes it very different. Also, the colors are, just, are more pigmented than the watercolor. These are the colors for the colored pencils. This is what the colored pencil looks like. It's very thin. And it's really hard to see the color. We're using the pen function now. The pen has the same color palette as all the other art supplies, but it also has a very different texture. As for the other art supplies, the pen has a bright color palette and it also has glitter paint. The pen function works just like a pen, but you can change the colors. Next, we're using the felt tip pen. It has a bright color palette as the other art supplies and has a very different texture to it as well. It's like a marker but it's a different kind of marker. This is what the felt tip pen looks like. Now we're using a marker, but it's much thicker than the felt tip pen. The color palette is the same, but it also has like a very different texture to it as well. It's like a um, marker, like a thick sharpie, kind of. This is the texture of the big marker. Now we're using oil pastels. Oil pastels are like crayons, but they're made of oil and they can get like really messy. And like the other art supplies, it has the same color palette. It has a very different texture. It's more like oily than like a regular crayon. And it's really easy to get messy with it. This is the texture of the oil pastel. It's very smooth like the oil paint. But it's more like a crayon kind of.
This is the crayon. It has the same color palette and has a different texture. It has a very much different texture from the oil pastels. While the oil pastels were um, smooth, this is wax. So it's not really as smooth, but at the same time it kind of is smooth. This is the blender. It has different kinds of blenders and different ways you can blend, but they all get the job done just fine. This is the pen section where we try every single pen. We're in the pencil section. These are what the pencils look like. There's different kinds of pencils that you can use. This is chalk. The chalk has different textures and some are more smooth, some are more pigmented than others. We're in the pastel section. The pastels are really smooth and very pigmented too and they're really watery. These are the markers. There are different kinds of markers and they're used for different things. This is watercolor. It's very um, diluted. It's not really pigmented, but it's still good. These are the oil pastels. There's different kinds of oil pastels. Some are chunky, some are smooth, some of them like have less pigment, and some have like texture. These are the inks. The inks are like water, but they're a paint at the same time. This is calligraphy. Cal calligraphy is like fancy writing. This is sketch. It's like pencil. This is line. It's like digital writing. This is the paint section. This is the texture of one of the paints. And it's um really um smooth, but it's also rough at the same time. There's a lot of pigmenting colors with paint, and there's even sparkly ones. This is the basic section. It's like computer drawing. And there's a lot of different um, functions. Some are like really pigmented and some are very light. Next is the airbrush. The airbrush is paint, but it's like sprayed on. And it has a really cool effect. Next is the light ones. It's airbrush, but it has like a light to it. And they get brighter and brighter. Next is like wash. It's watercolor, but there's a lot of water in it. That's why it's called wash. But it has a pretty texture. Speaking of texture, this is the texture. It's like, it's like texture. This is texture, but it's 3D. So any surface that you know of, 
it has it's 3D and you can use to draw with it. This is stone. It's like it's like the texture one except it replicates different types of stones. This one, for example, is quartz. These are texture hues. So it's the same thing like the texture one except there's like more flat kind of textures. They're more like cartoony different textures. They have a lot of different textures. These are the stamps. They're like those like toy stamps, but they're like in a line and they're kind of like texture, but at the same time it's not. This is the form. It's the it's the same idea as texture, but it's like more cartoony kind of. And finally the fabric, which is patterns that are like used for fabric kind of. There's only two types of fabric. Here you can choose the canvas size, the paper. As you see, there's different kinds of paper with different textures, and you can draw with any of them. There's even a function where you can customize your photos and change them, modify them in any way you want. While I'm drawing, I'm changing the opacity. This is something you can do with any of your art supplies. And also to make it better, there's also different edits. You can make it blurry, you can do symmetry, which is like copying one side to another. You can do eyedrop, which is taking a specific color. Bye everyone, make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time for a part two. Bye.